Good morning, Gravit High School. I'm Sarah Satchel. And I'm Ty Latta, and this is news for November 1st. This Thursday at 6 p.m. is the Basketball Pride Night. Come be a part of the beginning of the basketball season and stay afterwards for the bonfire. On Friday the 5th, football boys travel to Gentry for their final game of the season. Show up and cheer for our Lions. MSSU will be at our school during lunch on Wednesday the 3rd. FBLA and HOSA is sponsoring a holiday card for military members. Talk to your RTI teacher if you're interested in helping out. Are you interested in a law enforcement career after high school? Deputy Tyler Madden will be here for questions on Thursday, November 4th from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. On Thursday, November 4th, Taco Bell is celebrating the World Series by offering America a free taco. Stop by Taco Bell and for a free taco. As we get closer to the holidays, we remember to help out our neighbors in need. Bobby is here to tell us about culinary classes' upcoming food drive. Gravel High School will be hosting a canned food drive during the month of November. Students will bring canned food drives and bring them in boxes to Miss Hurt's room. The food drive will run through November 1st through the 5th. Students complete by grade level as well as against teachers to see who can bring the most food. The grade who brings the most non-expired canned food items will win an ice cream party. We would love to have a couple hundred cans. Um, each of my students are bringing two cans apiece, so that puts us at 66. So between all five groups, freshmen, sophomores, juniors, and seniors, and the teachers, it'd be great if we could push 500 of them. Food items must be donated in boxes in Miss Hurt's room to count. The culinary leadership class is helping with this event. Our leadership and service learning classes are in charge of holding a community service event every semester. Um, this class is making posters to advertise. We're creating posts. Uh, we made the boxes that the food is going to go in, and we're also in, uh, in charge of counting all of the cans. All items donated during this food drive will be donated to a local pantry. These donations will happen right before Thanksgiving, so it's a perfect timing to help others for the holidays. Do you plan on donating? Because I am. These boxes must be placed in Miss Hurt's room before the 5th. Thank you, Bobby. Have you heard that Walmart is building a new home office right here in Bentonville? Ethan's here to let us know about this new awesome project. In October of 2017, Walmart Incorporated came out and announced plans for their new home office. Today I'm here to give an update on the progress made so far. Walmart's biggest factor they are pushing when building the home office is being smart and sustainable. During the demolition phase of the home office project, Walmart has been able to recycle 200,000 tons of concrete, 70,000 tons of asphalt, 14,000 tons of steel and metal, and put these resources back into the home office. With this crucial step, Walmart's much bigger headquarters will be tagged with their everyday low-cost routes and come in substantially cheaper compared to Amazon's headquarters. Walmart's new home office will be roughly 350 acres. The headquarters will feel very natural with lakes, trees, and parks incorporated into the office spaces. Along with eight separate office buildings, including their own restaurants, the home office will feature nine parking garages, a large auditorium for press conferences, and a 100,000 square foot layout center for Walmart engineers and associates to test out their products. So if you want to check out the progress made yourself, you can see the home office being built on the east side of J Street between Central Avenue and 14th Street. Thank you, Ethan. Today we start a new regular segment where we get to learn a little more about the homes of our foreign exchange students. Elise is here to tell us about her home city of Hamburg, Germany. Moin Moin, I'm Alice and I'm a German exchange student and I would like to tell you something about my country. Germany is located in the center of Europe. In the north, its borders on the North Sea and East Sea, in the south, on the Alps. My hometown, Hamburg, is located in the north of Germany. Approximately 1.8 million people live there. Hamburg is crisscrossed by hundreds of canals and has large parklands. The old town of Hamburg is called Jungfernstieg. It is located near the Lake Binnenalster, is littered with boats and surrounded by cafes. In the city runs the Elbe River. 
Hamburg's most trusted pride is the Concert Hall at Philharmonie, which was built at a cost of 866 million euros. Moin Moin is a typical hamburger greeting. It is normal in Germany to use public transportation. Typical German food is for example Spätzle with onion and roasted beef, schnitzel or pretzels. Hamburg is famous for the Franzbrötchen, Marzipan, fish sandwich or currywurst. When you are in Hamburg, don't forget to use the greeting Moin Moin when ordering a fish sandwich. Thank you, Elise. That's all for this week. I'm Sarah. And I'm Ty. And, and we'll, we'll see you next week. week.